never hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. You subscribers, hello. Where have you been? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining this amazing, wonderful family right here on On Trending. And of course, to my returning subscribers, the real O O to the G G G S, my moderators, my premier gang gang, you you that have been here for a pretty long time. Thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice that you did to me on this specific channel. I most definitely will never, ever, 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 never, ever <laughs> take you for granted, even one bit. We are back to basics. We are back to our set. In case you joined us when we are doing live streams every day. Hey, this is where we all began. <laughs> in this orange reddish room right here. And there is a lot going on on the street. And that's why we are here to be talking about it. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> Before someone called Ivan comes up with a video today at 5 p.m. If you follow his schedule, this is when he's going to be dropping a video. Let me see what he said. What is the title of this video? I am Mara brought a girl over my house and this happened. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Today we are talking about Paulina, the most awaited, the most awaited topic. Because the last time he was here, we were pretty sad. <laughs> Joe, oh, hello. <laughs> Joe was sad. He's like, yeah, I've come in time. Finally, what we've been waiting for. Everybody stretching. Reactors taking down their pens and papers to be taking the notes. And alas, <laughs> it ended. <laughs> While she was biting on the chapatis. And he put on there some very sensual soundtrack. Ivan, stop. <laughs> and it was done. And today we are waiting for at least, hopefully, waiting and hoping that this is the end of the Ivan Sarkas resurrection, Mura Senso, you name it. Ha! Huh. Episodes <laughs> right here on these streets. But anyways, we are waiting to see what's going to be going down. There's not much happening in Yabohanse, believe it or not, because when the doors were closed and not shut, according to Mrs. Strongman 254, in fact, I didn't notice that they've changed their channel from Strongman 254 to Mrs. Strongman 254. Probably they'd have done Strong Woman 254, <laughs> but it is what it is. There's nothing much happening in the village. Maro did a video, hey, 54, 53 or 54 minutes, and we're like, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to show us. <laughs> Mara cannot do without people. Mara just went round. They took the horses to, to graze outside the, their gate, I think. They were walking just around their compound. There was nothing much to show because, oh, these are my chickens. This is my dove. Oh, this is my grass. Oh, this is Kumawiki. Who's destroying this Kumawiki? Oh, we need to do crop rotation. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Trouble commando. Commando of the commando rose. <laughs> He has got no content. Absolutely. But anyways, we're going to be touching on things that were mentioned yesterday that I think are worth reacting to. And then we're going to be looking at <laughs> Dim Wango is in Mexico. Finally, she is where Mura Senso met Rocio Mam. Puerto Escondito. <laughs> Something close to that. <laughs> Who else are we looking at today? I think those two. Strongman, yes, Strongman 254, Mrs. Strongman 254 came out here to say something little about what happened. Um, and their conversation, you know, between themselves when they were blasted the first, first time. And their conversation with Rocio Mom, I was surprised. I was like, yo, two pigs in a pod, Rocio Mom and Rocio Dad. <laughs> they were meant for each other, trust it. <laughs> And who else? I think that's going to be it. If anything comes along, we are going to be talking about it. Let us start with Dimwango in Mexico. Dimwango is in Mexico. She, what is wrong, guys? Have you noticed that she is puffy? Like her face is just... <laughs> maybe it's just my screen, but yeah, maybe it's the way protein shakes. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I'm not really sure. But there's something absolutely wrong. So Rosio's mom hooked her up with some of her friends. 
back in mexico and they decided to be taking her around and there's nothing new guys as always oh we have this plant in jamaica oh i've never had jelly since i was in jamaica oh my god it's cold so good nothing new so anyways she decided to go <laughs> look for the waterfalls because while she's got a new drone and i was like hey here we go now very beautiful scenery shorts and all this and all that and she went to this <laughs> waterfall and she was absolutely disappointed let us start with the receipts and then we come back analyze move back to the villa because it is what it is and <laughs> see what's going on between mr and mrs argentina <laughs> then we'll be calling it a day as we wait of course for ivan who is i think what everybody is waiting for today at least i am receipts will come back solo thousands and thousands of miles away from home and uh i'm equal to the task let me take you outside let me take you along hey guys hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel it's a new day we are in puerto escandido so, and guys if you're new here remember to subscribe hit that like button leave a comment let me know what you think about today's video for my returning subscribers thank you so 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 much guys so welcome to today's video outfit of the day because ready for the beach and today do you mind saying hello to my fans hello 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 everyone nice <laughs> yeah to meet you all. so this is alex hello. and uh she's given a yeah so actually rocio connected me to them i think you all know who rocio is so yeah we out when I get some jelly. I really missed having this. The last time I had this is when I was in Jamaica. So let me know how the Mexican jelly tastes like today. Ah, yes. Ouch, no. <laughs> Put all the pots here for tomorrow. Anyway, let me get one of this. This is merengue seed. It's really, really, really nice. I think you guys know what this is. We have a lot of this in Jamaica, a lot yeah guys i think you know this merengue seed sweet pepper mm -hmm. no, I think there was Chile? papaya here in, was in jamaica they call this this one uh scotch bonnet. sweet pepper sweet pepper yeah it's like the same okay yeah it's the same sweet pepper with the scotch bonnet so it's like the same as a habanero somehow somehow like, yeah i was trying to figure this out because like i make a lot of curry uh-huh like, okay and i'm like what is it? the water is so dirty oh my god sure. with the, all the hassle guys recommend me a country that has the best waterfalls because no way no no way you guys look at that no way no way but, but, but still the water is so <laughs> nice it's okay man no. it's not gonna it's not gonna get you there's no crocodiles I'm sweating buckets. You know what I mean? So, ah, uh, I'm so tired. So, basically, with that type of river, not really river, but waterfall, guys, I cannot go eat. <laughs> I cannot put myself in there, honestly. So, I guess it's because it's rainy season, or maybe. But, you know, I couldn't even put my leg inside, to be honest with you guys. So, maybe dry season will be an option <laughs> because with that uh -uh. Dim Wango was totally disappointed <laughs> because you know now she's in her niche <laughs> if it's not a white boyfriend it's the waterfall it's her going to be dipping herself in there showing her nyash and nothing new all right because she was on here with this driver i don't think she was going to cook like she did a million times in jamaica but anyways her disappointment was that this waterfall was muddy af <laughs> and she's like no it's not gonna happen <laughs> 
it's not gonna happen but what a disappointment because she was ready to show us all the drone shots and whatnot and i was like what's the big deal we should have had drone shots either way there's no problem only that the water was too dirty for her for her <laughs> to be showcasing her body <laughs> it is what it is why is jim Mango's face puffy what is the problem white protein shakes is white protein messing up her system because there's a time she said she's slapped you know she's taking a break from gymming because she started gymming here and then she's like oh i need to keep up with this program and i was here to ask how are you going to be keeping up with a program if you're traveling the last time she did a live someone asked her, are you still keeping up with you know your <laughs> here and there wanting to look masculine <laughs> muscles turned up and she was like no because traveling and working out is honestly very tricky someone said you can use the space in your room to be doing your stretches and to be doing something something you don't have to have a gym gym to go work out so i don't know maybe it's the protein shakes because again lots of proteins will puff up <laughs> your body in case you don't know but anyways it is what it is have you guys seen Wodemaya? omg let me check Wodemaya, i missed out on this one but we need to address it quickly quickly i need to address this one of Wodemaya because i was like oh my god <laughs> what a beautiful thing Africa 100 most impactful brand influencers. Hey, I went quickly chop chop, looked for Di Mwango, looked for Mura Senso. I could not see their names, and I'm like, yo, what are you people doing on these streets? Why are you people not being recognized? Same thing that we were here to talk about African Tigress. I know you've seen the clips going around because most reactors have touched on it. How she was welcomed in Barbados limousine, everything paid for hotel. Oh, she got presents and presents with this brand that is working with her. Of course, she is on there for how is it called and i was like yo look at how she has been welcomed from the airport yeah guys <laughs> but anyways this is what and in this they said congratulations what we are proudly we proudly celebrate you as one of africa's most impactful brand influencers <laughs> Muro says so. where are you where are you <laughs> D Manga, Lambo, where are you? Where are you? David Junior, oh my God, where are you guys? Most impactful brand influencers of 2024, redefining the industry with your exceptional charisma and unwavering transparency. <laughs> transparency is where we draw the line. <laughs> Transparency is why we draw the line with the Maras. <laughs> hey. Oh, I like to be transparent. Transparency is where we draw the line, Mara. Okay. <laughs> Your influence and authenticity have set new standards, inspiring countless others and shaping the future of brand engagement in profound ways. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations, Wodemaya. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. My own niche. Where you see transparency, no, they're not going to be there. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to be there. <laughs> Someone said that Mara probably could be, you know, this person was calling out, I laughed so much. This person was calling out on any, any, any company that does <laughs> mobile toilets. <laughs> mobile toilets <laughs> should go ahead, ahead and be contacting Mura Senso because he knows how to urinate across the world. <laughs> so if you own a mobile toilet <laughs> company, please reach out to Mura Senso because he would sell you guys a hundred percent. But anyways, that's besides the point. We are here to celebrate what Maya celebrate, African Tigress, celebrate someone like Trudy, Miss Trudy. 
Wodemeyer's wife who says she's taken a step back from you know traveling and bringing us travel content on the street because she's concentrating on her airbnb business and she showed us how much money it has brought for the past one year and i was like yo this is transparency sometimes you make money sometimes you don't make money with the maros with the d's every time is they have money and they are rich behind doors they are borrowing money from the ivans from african tigress and they'll come out here and bad mouth them <laughs> what a shame what a shame question Lambo Mwango you also have an Airbnb that is now fully yours the one that you scammed jumped to us uh -huh. <laughs> hello <laughs> why are you not telling us how much it brings in a month in one year it's been years how much money have you been making off this Airbnb seeing us now you can proudly come out here and say that yo I have an airbnb business i was surprised during her life someone told her that i have an airbnb in nairobi i'd love you to hold i'd love to host you and then of course give your reviews and she's like okay write me on instagram i was like where is your airbnb why are you not plugging your airbnb madam z mwango lambo why are you not plugging your airbnb now seeing as it's now fully yours <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> maro is unwell oh <laughs> maro is not feeling okay maro is sick he's been sick for the past four days lots of headaches and he's feeling coldish coldish <laughs> if you don't know the tingle now you should know the tingle please donatus maro is not feeling okay Mara was in his compound with Madame Parasite. And now because Madame Parasite chased closed doors to everyone else, especially YouTubers. Huh? If you want to collaborate, be paying a thousand USD for a collaboration. If you want a mention, <laughs> this, the amount is still the same. Hmm? Okay, so at least there we are transparent. The amount is still the same. They were walking in their compound because now, because Madame Parasite wanted Mara to herself, she's got Mura Senso <laughs> the whole day. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I remember during the party, shortly after, during the mixologist period, she came out to say that she's been trying to get attention from this man because I know we also reacted and said yeah you've brought in a girl from Argentina and you've not even once given her attention because it was gift here gift there collect this gift give a shout out to do a collaboration all through the party period and Rocio mom looked so <laughs> rejected <laughs> now she's got him for the rest of the day walking together eating together come and eat walk the horses do this all over the place they're together so, Mara sat down with Rocio Mam. <laughs> After the most prayerful woman came and prayed for them. <laughs> and he really wants to know what's the tingle. How does she feel? And this is what Madame Parasite had to say. Receipts, we come back as always, analyze before we call it a day. Okay, <laughs> I'm checking my mom's hand. Okay. Hi. Uh, Guys. Improving. Guys, uh, I've been feeling a little sick for the last four days. Like, uh, Uncle Mo, you look for me that traditional medicine. Yeah. I've been feeling a headache for the last four days. Naskia kitchen and you mbali na homa. I'm saying I've been feeling headache, and also uh, it's headache and also cold. So this is what's going on here. Uh, we are giving you a lot of updates from the village. Technically, we are here for a month, Rosio. Yeah. So far, how are you feeling, ma'am? Like, uh, generally, with... With what? Life? Yes. And you being... Expectant? Yes. Uh, good, good. I'm, I'm really enjoying the process. You know, you did a Q&A for me, like, is he ready to be a father? No, it's me asking, is it ready to be a mother? <laughs> uh -huh. No, I'm good, I'm good. There's some struggles during the, the journey, mm -hmm. like health and things like that. But I'm generally better. Like, I'm generally good. I've been enjoying the whole process so far. Would you have preferred uh, being in a big city or in a village like this? 
Mm. Honestly, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, I would have preferred to have more people close to me during the, the, the during my days. When sometimes. you say more people, you mean like like my close friends, okay, or family, close friends. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh -huh. yeah. sometimes, uh, you know, the, the the midwife was telling me, Rocio, be aware that during this whole process, sometimes you will feel like possessed by a force that yeah. you will feel like you don't even recognize yourself. Uh -huh. And this will be stronger and stronger during the delivery time and it's going to be also stronger in the postpartum, you know. So Like you don't understand yourself, huh? There's too much going on inside of the body, in the hormone levels and this and this moving that sometimes is really the, the mood swings and things that I feel like you are the one uh, receiving the most of me. Maybe if I would have like my friends to, you know, to, to support me mm -hmm. in this or my family, maybe it would be a little bit soft <laughs> for you, you know, because you're the first one that I go. <laughs> When I'm sad, when I'm mad, when I'm happy, like yeah. at some point you're the only one. So. Okay, Rocio. Yeah. How do you feel, a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever it is, it doesn't stop moving a single time moment. Oh, you already feel like. All the time. All the time now? All the time, maybe, yes. Yeah, I've seen you yeah. one, two, but all the time I didn't know. All the time, and I'm telling you all the time. Yeah. Okay, guys, that is Rocio, her pregnancy journey. She says sometimes she wishes to be around her friends. At the same time, I, I, I think generally we are doing okay. Madam Parasite says she's bored. That's not new. We already know that. And she wishes that, you know, she could have her friends, especially her friends, close. Because anyways, she said she's not been home for four years. <laughs> four years. <laughs> it's going to be a big deal when she's back, I think, next month. And I'm waiting for that, you know, journey. Argentinian journey, Argentinian series is going to be something absolutely amazing. That's what I'm guessing right here on the streets. Now, she says she's bored, she wishes her friends were close, and I can only imagine because it is what it is. <laughs> she's got no friends in the village apart from Gake. Yeah, Gake is Masumbo. <laughs> and I call more. And I think that's pretty much it. Those are the people who make her laugh. Someone told me to react on Rocio mom being on a bike at this stage of her pregnancy. I'm not. Congratulations to them. Let them continue. Let them do their tingo. They said they know what they're doing. Let them continue being on that bike to Migori and back. I did a reaction here and I told you guys the day that the Starlink was coming in and Mara said that Rocio mom has gone for her clinic visit appointment and i was like she's gone with gitiriba i hope they used the car no they used the bike let them use their bikes it's their pregnancy they are in charge of it hey <laughs> who am i <laughs> she said don't worry about us keep your worries to yourself think positive i know what i'm doing mom back in argentina stop disturbing my peace so please allow me to say congratulations in fact you can also use your bike all the way to Argentina. There's no problem. <laughs> it will save you on airfare. <laughs> Mara is surprised that was your mom is missing her family and friends. And I'm like, why are you surprised? You know, Mara said that he loved Rocio mom because she is not attached to her home, her parents. She's not someone who will be coming to Africa, to the village and be like, oh, I'm so homesick. Oh, I want to go to my mom. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And that is what he likes about her. So why are you surprised that she, miss she misses her friends? She said it a million times that she wants to talk like face to face with her friends. I think have fun, go out, all these girly girly <laughs> lunches, no more. <laughs> you're a mom to be when the baby comes it's going to be absolutely different especially if you're coming back to the village where now again you don't have your family and you don't have your friends utilize the six six or so months that will be in argentina wisely <laughs> i don't know if she'll be coming back to ah yeah 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 that's just me <laughs> 
it's me <laughs> i can't imagine coming back if she's tired right now with no child what if when child is in your hands and you're back in the village in the villa i'm waiting to see that series as well after argentina anyways mrs strongman 254 came to say something am i still on yeah she came out to say something and i was like yo let us quickly touch on it before we call it a day because hey i want to be giving way to adventures <laughs> paulina <laughs> mura in not in argentina in dc washington dc i can't miss on that one because this is what i've been waiting for for the longest time but before we do that mrs strongman 254 what went down when you heard that people are talking about you and strongman decided to call rosio mom back in the villa from mombasa to the villa let's hear what went down and then we come here and close don't complain. Rocio is making it clear to Fendinian. This boy doesn't understand. Rocio, when she called Strongman, and Strongman is the one who called them to ask, why am I seeing a live stream destroying me? What have I done? Rocio was like, you did something wrong to me, and Mara will punish you will destroy you will never recognize yourself again hmm? eh, you hurt me and i don't believe you you people did not sit down and talk about me even if it is not in the video i believe you people you and the african cook talked about me badly you cannot convince me so just because i feel it you will have to pay for it i will destroy you mara will destroy you I don't believe you. Even if you say you didn't say anything, I will destroy you. And Roma, if you believe I, I said anything bad about you, go ahead, destroy me. And she said, we are going, we have already done it. We have already done it. We don't believe you. Finding me and doesn't know Rosio is preparing hmm? and giving him warnings. Not, not, not a warning, you, but remember when we were sitting under the shed what did i tell you he will she will come to remind Pendinia. when i come here and say that mura senso and rosio mama two peas in two peas in a pod <laughs> i think now we are trying to understand the tingle because i why why would she respond to strong man like that in that way i will destroy you Mara will destroy you. Why are you telling people that you're going to be destroying them? Why? You know that they are talking about you. They've talked about you behind the scenes. So what? Hey, hey, OMG. So what? If they have talked behind you, if they have talked about the incident that happened with African village cook, so what? You know, I don't understand why people want to be running other people's lives, all right? And this is the problem with Marwa and his followers. <laughs> they want everyone on the planet to love Marwa and not criticize him. Why? Why would you come to my comment section and tell me, oh, you're hating? You with your love, go love them in your channel. I'm here to critique and disagree all the time with Marwa Senso. That's my niche, in case you don't know. Now you know. Yeah, in case you don't know, now you know. <laughs> so what if people spoke behind your back? So you're, <laughs> you speak to someone and you tell them, oh, I will destroy you. Mara will destroy you. He'll take back everything he gave you. When they say that, you know, it's subscribers. After this man walked off his nyash in your own villa, right now you'll be floating in sh it. Yes. <laughs> Leave alone that their bathroom that has got no door. <laughs> Volcano from the toilet. Like this flowing into the bedroom. Why don't they have a door <laughs> leading to their toilet? Oh, building is a process. <laughs> building is a process, but it's priority. You can 
build your doors, build your kitchen, and get horses later. Can I hear an amen? <laughs> amen? <laughs> I was so pissed. I was so pissed. Oh my God, I was like, yo, you cannot be telling people like this. Who are you threatening? <laughs> In any case, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, I know Strongman 254's wife is like, there are people who are told to leave and they have not left. What are you still waiting for? What are you still doing in my channel with your little, little insults? Move! <laughs> it's simple. Block me. I am so surprised that people are still on Maro's chat section when he's premiering and saying, oh, this is how you, you go and report these reactors and haters. I'm like, you've reported us since. It's almost two years since I began reaction. You've been reporting my videos. You can come to my comment section and say, we've reported, oh, you're full of hate. Report. Even this one, report. And guess what? You don't own YouTube. <laughs> YouTube gave chance to reactors. And positive and negative reaction is reaction. They did say this reaction is for positive reactions, especially those ones who are criticizing Mura Senso. You wake up and you find your channel gone. No. Reaction is reaction. It's positive, it's negative. It's reaction. <laughs> oh, you guys should be taken. Oh, Mura, copyright. Oh, go and trademark. Do you know how much it is to trademark? <laughs> yeah, let's probably go check. <laughs> if Mara can't get an engagement ring, a simple engagement ring. Trademarking is what he's going to be able to do because it's not a one-off fee. It's not. <laughs> and either way, I'm allowed to critique and disagree and agree on this platform. Comprende? Are we together? <laughs> Relax. Mura Sensos Fanatics. I told you, this is not your channel. In fact, I think I'll start my videos with a disclaimer. Way off. Just in case someone thinks, oh, we are here to discuss Mara. Let's see what good he did. No. I'm here to critique. I'm here to disagree with Mura Senso. Period. If you want to agree with him, go ahead, ahead. You have a channel. Why are you not agreeing with Mara in your channel? Allow me to disagree in my channel. If you're a Mara fanatic, hey, the minions, the sheep. <laughs> this channel will make you so angry. I've told you at all times, you are in charge of your blood pressure. You are in charge of the blood pressure. You are in charge of your own blood pressure. <laughs> if you come here and your pressure is boiling, by boiling, your pressure is going high, high, high because of what I say on this channel. Hey, you are, it's up to you. Okay? You are entitled to your own blood pressure, especially if you are coming to this channel. Please! Take care of yourselves. <laughs> this is not the place to be. If you want to report Marwa's FBI's, oh, run so quick, report this video, report the channel. You've been reporting for the longest. I'm not surprised. I'm still on the, I'm still here. I'm on the platform. I react every day. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I want to end it here as we wait for adventures. Oh, I don't know what to expect. Again, maybe it's going to be another suspenseful episode. I hope not because we're already in his house with Paulina and with Mura Sen. So let's wait and see what went down because guys have been waiting on this one. Where we'll come and hammer adventures if there's anything to hammer. Hammer Mura Senso again. Talk about Paulina because we are still going back to there because it's not yet done. <laughs> In case you're new and would love, of course, to subscribe to the channel, always know that you're free to do so. And I own training will most definitely catch you on my next one. Like this video on your way out if you haven't. And of course, remember to turn on your post notification so that you don't miss out on my next upload. Bye bye. Rio, bye bye. Rio. <laughs> bye guys. <laughs>